Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus. So this is officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington United State resident fell ill. I'm speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. A time of disruption in the life of our country. A disruption that has brought grief to some, financial difficulties to many, and enormous changes to the daily lives of us all. I want to thank everyone on the NHS front line, as well as care workers and those carrying out essential roles who selflessly continue their day-to-day -day duties outside the home in support of us all. I'm sure the nation will join me in assuring you that what you do is appreciated and every hour of your hard work brings us closer to a return to more normal times. I also want to thank those of you who are staying at home, thereby helping to protect the vulnerable and sparing many families the pain already felt by those who have lost loved ones. Together we are tackling this disease, and I want to reassure you that if we remain united and resolute, then we will overcome it. I hope in the years to come, everyone will be able to take pride in how they responded to this challenge. And those who come after us will say the Britons of this generation were as strong as any. But the attributes of self-discipline, of quiet, good-humoured resolve, and a fellow feeling still characterise this country. The pride in who we are is not a part of our past. It defines our present and our future. At the moments when the United Kingdom has come together to applaud its care and essential workers, will be remembered as an expression of our national spirit. Kung mahulog po nito'n Kay adunay importansya 